And as you can see, I got a hood set up behind me. I'm going to do an uh, American flag with an eagle. And I'm going to show you the process. I've already got it laid out with transfer paper. What I'm going to do right now, you can use an X-Acto knife or a razor blade like what I'm doing. But I'm going to start from one point and I'll cut out everything around the outside and then I'm going to pull the pieces out individually and airbrush in between them. Um, I've already drawn out a flag down here, or actually a ribbon. It's going to see proud to be an American and then I'll have a rolling flag back behind it. But I'm going to start from one point and what I do is I'll mark right here where I start so I know this is my starting point that I have this Something all I forgot out. to mention before I go too much further and other videos I show um, I show how to do all the prep and stuff on these, so I didn't explain that. So I'm going to back it up just a little bit. This hood came into me. It was already previously painted by another body shop. It was painted and clear coated, sanded and buffed, and then waxed at a car show. I met the guy at a car show. Um, we came up with an agreement on a pencil drawing I did. I'll show you that later. And um, came up with a design. So from that point, he shipped me the hood here. And then I took and wiped it down three times with wax and grease remover because it had so much wax on it. Then I wet sanded the whole hood with uh, 600 and then I went over it with scotch Bright. So now I'm airbrushing on top of the existing clear right now. And from that point I laid out transfer paper, drew my design out, now I've cut it out. Now I'm going to piece each um, individual uh, feather in until we get clear down to the body and I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to start with the head and then we'll go down into the, um, the talons of his feet and the ribbon. Once you get a little better, you can freehand it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is black. Come right up Always sprayed it off, off to the side a little bit first. By closing the eye up right here, it kind of makes him a little bit meaner. We'll still accent it with the black. to the beak and all these pieces I cut out just aren't going to fit in perfect and so I'm going to use clear transfer paper Switched up, went back to that uh, mustard looking color that we had here. And now I'm going to do the bottom sides of the um, talons. The color we're going to use for the ribbon is kind of a bluish gray. What I did is I used white, a couple drops of black, and a couple drops of blue to get this color right here won't stand out but yet it'll I mean it's it's not a real bright blue it's kind of a muddy grayish blue but it looks really good out here on the on ribbon and in order to get this ribbon if you want it to look correct you can buy a piece of ribbon and just kind of twist it and roll it and then photograph it or just draw it from that using it as a reference what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back in with our clear transfer paper and we're gonna mask off the claws and we'll mask off the rest of the feathers I could have put the other pieces back in but they were peeling and rolling and I don't like that so I want to make sure that it's nice and clean and crisp and then we'll start I'll start using a little bit of white and we'll create the highlights I'm still going to use my blue mixture and go back over this lightly but like where the top of the ribbon goes like this this will be the highest spot what I've done now is I've went ahead and laid out the flag I've drawn it all out I took a uh, flag, an actual flag, and used it as a reference, which I'll show you in a second. And um, laid everything out where all the wrinkles and rolls go. And then the W's are for white and the R's are for red, so that's why I marked them. So I'll pull all this piece out here and I'm going to spray a, a medium gray through here because we're going to do it instead of white and red, we're going to do it in kind of a gray tone and a burgundy, same color, pretty close to the same color that the car is right now. So we're going to spray those colors in, but I'm going to do the light gray first, then I'm going to lay 
the um, pattern back up on here and I'll cut it out and I'll do the burgundy so next. It's a little bit brighter than the um, first part we put on and it shows the highlight. We're going to do the same thing. To the what one you're looking at, you're probably trying to figure out what the heck just happened. I was done with the flag. Well, got it all done, got it unmasked, and in my opinion, these colors turned way too pink. I did a demo at a car show, and the owner seen it at the car show, but the demo was done on black, and this effect was the same colors I used, and it looked really cool. But when you unmask it on the red, using that violet color up against the red, it turns pink. So I'm going to go back in and, and redo it all. I sanded it, remask it, and then also I'm going to bring the flag down to the ribbon because that way it'll balance it out a little more. I've already taken mask off the eagle and the ribbon, so now we're going to carry the design down into here. So that's why you see it all masked what back What you're looking up. at now is I went ahead and mask it off. I copied the flag. This is an actual flag up here that I bought and I'm using it as a reference. You can see the folds and everything in it. So now I matched up a color of red that's a lot closer to this. And it doesn't have any of the pink in it. I'm gonna spray it right over that pink. I'm spraying it heavier, which is going to be brighter, on the high spots. If you guys have a touch-up gun, you can use a touch-up gun at this stage, but I'm just going to use an airbrush throughout this entire process. Well, as you guys can see, I started doing the bottom half over. This is the top half. This is the pinkish color that I was talking to you about. It looks horrible. And you can tell that by using a brighter red now that the rolls are starting to turn more and you can see them folding and stuff. Uh, this is what I should have did in the first place, but I didn't. But I'm going back and fixing it. It's taking twice as long, but it's going to look twice as good, too. I just, I wasn't happy. I just. I couldn't turn it out like that. So I'm just masking off what I just did right now. And then I'm going to go back over and we'll do this next fold. And we're just going to repeat this process all the way up. Well, my apologies. I did not realize my battery was dead on my camera. So anyway, what I did, laid these out. I laid a quarter inch piece of tape through them. Laid this down, sprayed white through them. Then I took my airbrush with white and went back and forth making a stitching. Now this is a fiberglass um, scraper. It has uh, fiberglass ends. You don't want to touch them or they'll get in your fingers. You can also use an X-Acto knife. But I'm just going back and forth scraping out the top edges. I still got white um, underneath there. And then also the base coat red of the hood. What I'm doing is creating the stitching in the, uh, in the stars. making a nice crisp line there and then I'll pull it back a little bit.